It came from a chem? Yes. All right, so what we've done here today, guys, is we have three flavor varieties each of the Bud Light Rita and Corona Refresca Sparkling Seltzer Alcoholic Beverage Thing. Series. <laughs> so many vowels and consonants. And basically what we're doing today is we're going to find out which one of these flavored seltzer malt beverages is the way you should go. I drink a lot of seltzer, alcoholic seltzers, right? Yeah, yeah. I have quite a few. And so there's like White Claw, right? White Claw is okay. Yeah. There's the one, uh, the other one with the mermaid commercials, that's okay. Uh, what was the recent one that was the best one? Seltzer expert, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I can't remember. Bound of good. knowledge. I drink a lot, I don't remember their names. <laughs> the good sparkling seltzer alcoholic beverages, Seek Out. They got delicious flavors. Seek Cow? Seek Out. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Seek Cow. <laughs> this one, it's like, you're like, what the hell? That's a weird ass name. <laughs> they are definitive enough that you remember their name right away. Uh huh. Seek Cow. Go check it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we're here today to see if the mega conglomerate multinational beverage brewing companies can do anything even slightly approaching drinkable. No. Okay. We're going to start off with. Yeah, we'll just. The Rosé Spritz White Peach from Rita's. One thing that the Rita's are coming out ahead at, like right away, 6% ABD. I thought you were going to say hard work. Corona Refresca's 4.5% <laughs> ABD. Okay, so they're a little stronger. Huh. That was not that bad. Hmm? It's not the worst. It tastes way yeah. better than normal Rita's. It says peach. It still has that kind of weird funkiness to it, though. It says oh, rosé and peach. I'm I'm sold. Like 100%. maybe that's what I'm tasting is the rosé. Yeah, I, I think, think so. It's supposed to be because it's like it kind of tastes whiny, but it's not really. It does just a little bit, but it, it, in kind of a good way, it's very light. It is like a spritzer. Next up, we have Ugh. the strawberry blueberry. I think this is the most likely to taste like mm. just sugar. Right. It smells like jam. That's what it smells like. Mm -hmm. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, I just got a big whiff of it there. Yeah, it smells like strawberry jam. Holy crap. I don't think it's as good as the first one. It tastes a little bit like you threw a strawberry Jolly Rancher into a seltzer. Yeah. It's a little muted to me. Uh, the the <clears throat> like Jolly Rancher strawberry... Um, and I do taste a bit of other berry kind of essence in here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I, I like this more than, a, you know, a lot of other strawberry drinks. Yeah. But it is a strawberry on the sweeter side. Like the, yeah. like a, a, an overripe yeah. strawberry plus blueberries. There are some of those seltzers out there that are like very much like, this tastes like LaCroix with a shot of alcohol in it. Yeah. These aren't really heading that direction. They're heading more towards like an artificial sweetened. Ooh. Seltzer with a shot of alcohol in it. I'd say kind of like Italian soda sort of yeah, deal. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting vibes of that plus yeah. a little bit of alcohol. <clears throat> yeah. So, I mean, they're they're way lighter <laughs> than the normal Ritas. Yeah. But I, I kind of like that. I kinda like thank that. goodness for that. Yeah, the normal Ritas, they, uh, they just don't make up for it. Let's go with the weirdest flavor out of all of these, the <laughs> coconut lime. It's setting just, off my OCD that we did two of these, and then we're going to, like, uh -huh. we're leaving one over uh -huh. there just uh -huh. to chill. For the final round, Lofi. Holy. I smell that one. Fuck. <laughs> Whew. Wow. Suntan lotion. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty strong. Yeah. It smells opaque. Does that, <laughs> right? Does that make any sense to you? Like it smells like a thick white coconut. Like if somebody you can't see through it, said that to me, I would say no. That doesn't make any sense. But smelling it myself, I'm mm -hmm. like, you're right. <laughs> you can smell the thickness. <laughs> it's dummy thick coconut with three C's. Yeah. Oh jeez. C c c c coconut. Oh god. I don't even want it. <laughs> it's, 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 oh no. Like, when you put it up to your face, it makes you think twice. I... The fuck? I'm not sure I'm into that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh. What exactly are they trying to go for? 
It tastes like a cor cor Corona Light with coconut flavor in it. It doesn't taste like a seltzer. No, that's kind of what I thought they were going to be. But it does taste like there's Fresca in it. <laughs> can you taste the Fresca? I think I, I can. Think I can taste lime. Fresca. Uh, but it tastes like Fresca. It doesn't taste like lime. Corona Light with lime Fresca. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plus coconut. It's just From not good. good. Uh, uh, and this one's less. Less on the ABV than the Doritos. How? I think we have a clear front runner, and it wasn't who I wanted to be. But we have to move on. This tastes like I ate, ate an air freshener. Get uh -huh. dude, right? Uh -huh. Refrescinator. <laughs> My that's, mouth got refrescinated. That's why it's fresca. <clears throat> no. Oh, that is the fresca. I get it now. Yeah, right? <laughs> do, they, do they have a licensing deal with fresca? <laughs> now we're going to try guava lime. See, that's the thing about the Corona ones. They're all, like, lime base. Which, to be fair, the traditional, you know, Bud Light Aritas are. Because they're, like, Bud Light Lime Aritas. And then whatever flavor they are. Yeah. I don't know if that's just, like, a naming marketing thing, or if they start off with that as a base. Guava. Guava is a flavor that tries to sell you on how it's, like, tropical... And delicious. Uh -huh. However, guava sucks. Uh -huh. Can we all agree that guava sucks? It's delicious in Pog. But yeah. But you have all those other things But it's the other two it. that really yeah. make that work. Guava yeah. is is a foot fruit, right? Like, it, I've never had it to where I enjoy the consistency. It's, it's always kind of thick and pulpy and like, just like, uh, it, it has too much non-flavor in it. Yeah, exactly. You're always excited to eat it, and then you have it, and you're like, I don't know if I've ever actually had guava. It's kind just of flavorless uh -huh. and almost slightly savory. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like if a sweet potato was also tart. Yeah, you know, <laughs> guava fries. <laughs> guava. The only way I've had it good is in like a salad, like a like from Thai food. Yeah, fucking guava fries. Maybe that could work. Hashtag guava fries. <laughs> Trend it. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I have had guava in like a poke bowl or something like that, but... Oh god, I'm sorry. Ah, this tastes like hand soap. With dirt. There's dirt this involved in this. This tastes like Bed Bath & Beyond smells. <laughs> <laughs> After like a high traffic oh. day. Oh! You know, a lot of foot traffic bringing a lot of debris in from outside. Whoa. I gotta say, though, they have not disappointed me because I pretty much figured these things were going to be shit. Yeah. And syrupy. they are. I was hoping for better, but... Uh, against the other ones, against the Ritas, I was really expecting the Ritas to be the, the disappointment. If we're going Family Feud style, the Ritas have won the first two rounds. Definitely. But those rounds don't count. Yeah, the they final round. The, <laughs> the final round is all that counts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I've saved what I think are the the best flavors, or I guess I didn't. I just saved the random flavor of that one. <laughs> I saved the what I thought would be the best flavor of the Corona Fresca for last. Maybe against what I think might be the worst flavor of the Rita. This is where it all comes down, Loki. Parange. I'm still like trying to deal with this. <laughs> Like, I, my, I haven't See, mentally passed too much. by this yet. I said we're moving, Luffy. We're okay, moving. I'm working on it. So passion fruit, one of my favorite fruits. One of my favorite flavor profiles to be <laughs> in any drink. Wait a minute. So you're going to cast shade on lava, but you're still oh, yeah. for passion oh. fruit. Passion fruit's delicious. They should have just made pog. It has the passion, Luffy. No, it doesn't. The passion of the fruit. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's hardly a fruit. What? It is right up there with guava in my in you my You are a crazy ass. What is distinct about passion fruit? It is the tartest tasting fruit. What? Out like there. tarter than a key lime? It's nearly that tart, it but is... it has a completely different sort of tropicalness about it. I need a passion fruit showdown. Passion fruit fries. <laughs> Hashtag trend it. You can't even make passion fruit fries. Passion Over. fruit fries. I will not rest until they're fries of passion fruit. <laughs> they have like a fig consistency. You're you obviously not trying hard enough. Fig fries. Okay. Hashtag fries. Fries. <laughs> Okay. Let's trend start. It. 
Let's start where we began with the Rita. Pear orange. You thought this one would be the best? No. No, he's thinking it was the worst out of the Rita's. Oh, oh, so we're, wait. We're pairing the worst with the best. Potentially. Mostly because he wasn't paying attention yeah. to which ones he was grabbing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I started from the top. It smells wow. Like, it's, it smells good, but also slightly like bug spray. It smells... I still smell the fucking coconut. Interesting. To me... Okay, okay. Um, okay, uh, the smell was kind of giving me faint... Reminders of something. Does this smell kind of like an Astro Pop to you? Just a little. It smells kind of like one to me. I'm getting Ooh. a lot of pear out of it, but pear in a perfumey way. Yeah. Again, this one tastes a little bit like a Bed, bed Bath & Beyond yeah. hand soap. I'm just saying all the way across the board, really. I'm not digging any of these. I don't but, know. The first two Rita's I'm kind of into. You can chug it and it's okay, but no, oh, the aftertaste is so good. I don't know. I don't know. That one, uh, you know, that one got three buzzers. It's the most definitive of the Rita's, but not in a great way. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I, I still think the first Rita we started with, the white, the white peach. The bros egg. One more refresca that might bring it all back. Mmm. It's not. Fruit line. It's not going to. <laughs> it looks Ooh. dangerous. It does smell slightly of passion fruit. Well, slightly is good. My cup just still smells like coconut. <laughs> really? Still? Dude, that's all I can smell. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you sure? <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering now. Did I get that in the cup? <laughs> <laughs> the bouquet is kind of off a little. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, final um, one. It smells kind of pineapple-y to me. Oh. Mm. Oh, no. That tastes like medicine. <sighs> nope. It, it does. It tastes like Bernie. <laughs> <sighs> Sanders? Maybe. Are you getting I any Band-Aid? A little bit. I'm getting Band-Aid adhesive. A little bit. And I think I got that a little bit on the other Refresca, too. It's Theraflu. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! There is some Theraflu. I get it. No, Theraflu get it. and Band-Aid. It tastes like healing, but not the right kind. Uh-huh. I don't need a Band-Aid on my inside. <laughs> it very much tastes like medicinal quality vitamin C. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm just not happy with any of these, really. All right. No, I like the first two readers. I think uh, they both lost the final round of the Family Feud. But in the first round, the uh, the Rita with the white peach, I thought it was okay. Yeah, that one was probably the least offensive. I think I liked it. Yeah, I it, could drink that all night. If if uh, if you're out there searching for the next sparkling, you know, top model, seltzer, <laughs> alcoholic top model. Uh, I have to recommend the the White Peach Rita. Mm -hmm. I would the probably not recommend any of these other ones. I don't know. Now, do they come in like a three pack? Like they're all mixed together? Yeah. Or you have to buy them separate. Uh, you can't. I, I'm sure you can buy them separate somewhere, but like they were only there in the variety pack. Okay. So, so <clears throat> I'm not hating on any of these. Right here. Really? You yeah. actually liked the passion fruit one. Huh? You liked I did. The, you liked the Theraflu. Yep, I did. Because oh. I can see the potential. <laughs> I can see the potential of mixing it with something else. All of these, I think, would be really great. Uh -huh. with like maybe a little bit of juice. Mm -hmm. Vodka. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit. But yeah. <laughs> a little bit harder, you know. <laughs> so make some like, mix some alcohol into your alcohol, and you're going to like it. Yeah, yeah. that's the well, way to go. It, it's, it's a mixer, you know. It's a kind of a complicated mixer. <laughs> It's not like everybody's got, like, a, a bar gun that they can hit you with a, a fucking uh, uh, Long Island mix, That's you know. Right. So, you get one of these, uh, you could probably make a nice drink for two or three people, and uh, it would be kind of impressive. Yeah. You know, you drink it with your pinky up. Uh, yeah. Oh, All right, yeah. there you go. Uh, the It came from a can. Uh. Seltzer 
Drunk beverage showdown. It's starting to revolt. We have we have tested the Corona and the Bud Light versions, and you know what you should actually get is Seek Out. That's the better one. Get yourself some Seek Out. <laughs> is that a local product or what? I have no idea, but no. it's way better than these. Juniper cucumber, people. Yeah, it's delicious. Start. Expert. <laughs> this is Ben Care from Canon. Please like, share, subscribe. Go check out Loki on Twitch on TV slash Loki Molasses. Yay. Check out our social deets. Check out my dick. Yeah. Yeah. Check out our merch store while yeah. you're checking out the dick. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's down there. It's about the same spot on your screen right now. Yeah, it's about the size of one of those throw pillows, too. <laughs> the round one.